All right, I do believe we have our Nicole Comstock joining us now. She is uh, covering the line fire out in San Bernardino County. Let's go to Nicole for the latest. Nicole. Well, Susie, firefighters have been working really hard to try and get the line fire under control out here in San Bernardino County for six days now, dealing with really extreme heat for the better part of that time as well. Today, they had really gusty winds pushed to the north and the east, bringing this fire into the community of Running Springs, where you can see this portion of the 330 is completely aligned with fire retardant, where you can tell they made a stand to protect this community. We should tell you that the town here, the businesses look pretty good. They are covered in pink in that fire retardant as well. But if you take a look at the landscape behind us here, it is completely blackened. And actually, a lot of the guardrails leading up to 330 were burned by the fire. So that's going to be a big construction project when this is all over. Unfortunately, we did lose a home out here earlier today near Pinecone Drive in the 330. Take a listen, though, to the wind in this video so you know what firefighters were dealing with. Well, firefighters made a stand. Firefighters did make a stand in this neighborhood, but unfortunately could not save that home from burning down. The line fire started Thursday in Highland. It is making its way all the way over toward Big Bear Valley, although Cal Fire tells us it's not quite there yet. Still has quite a distance to get there. However, that area, part of it, I should say, is under a mandatory evacuation order now. Out of an abundance of caution, they want to make sure people get out while it's still safe to do so, especially since there's just going to be that one way out of that area heading out on the 18. The line fire is about 27,000 acres in size and 14% contained. We're hearing that 65,000 structures, including homes, are threatened, 9,000 people under evacuation orders, and 56,000 people under evacuation warnings. That's a lot of people being told to leave their homes. The north and east sides of this fire are continuing to burn the strongest tonight. That red flag warning uh, apparently ended out here at 8 o'clock tonight, but we still have low humidity, extremely dry vegetation. It is cooling off, however. It's about 64 degrees, so that will help the firefighters on the ground overnight. They're working to create control lines out here and trying to use aircraft again in the morning when they can. We spoke with a few neighbors and Cal Fire who just mentioned how intense this fire was when it came up to Running Springs today. Take a listen. All that we heard was we heard it. We were inside here and we were trying to get going ourselves and they evacuated us. They were going to start stopping the fire on the end of our property. We got to the bottom of the street. It came ripping through here and we heard a couple bangs and we knew it was a house. Flow leveled it. Yeah, all you see is posts up there. Today we had the normal up canyon winds that were really strong, so firefighters really had a tough fight on their hands. And uh, Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency out here in the San Bernardino National Forest earlier this week, which allowed him to authorize the National Guard to come out here and help with firefighting efforts. We're told that they added four more Black Hawk helicopters out here. They're obviously not working right now because it is nightfall. It is very smoky out here. We're probably going to see more aircraft coming back in tomorrow morning. Another little bit of sad news we're hearing with this fire is that the oldest continuous serving fire lookout in the San Bernardino National Forest, the Keller Peak Fire Lookout, was burned today in this fire when these flames just really spread through the wash there and overtook that area. So lots of people are commenting about how sad that is, how, you know, that's a piece of local history that you're not going to see coming back. Uh, the town in Running Springs, like I mentioned, the stores there all look pretty good. It looks like so far there was just this one home that did burn down. And, you know, firefighters are dealing with having to have the active flames over here in Running Springs, set their plan in place for what they're going to do when the fire moves more out toward Big Bear. But also they had the bridge fire explode just to the west of us um, over there near Wrightwood today. So they had to take some of their resources from this fire and move them over there as they sent off a new round of mandatory evacuation orders. And as that fire really started burning towards ski resorts uh, and populated areas over there. So firefighters are definitely stretched thin between all these three fires that we have burning in our local area right now. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Nicole, thank you. She's uh, there on the line fire with the very latest. Thank you, Nicole. All right, I want to go back to Mike Rogers at the desk now for an update on the bridge fire. Mike. 